Hey yo, what's up? It's Snoke2 here with a new comic haul. First, as always, I want to start off by thanking everyone who has taken their time to watch my videos and post a comment. I appreciate it. Um, so we're just going to start. I am uh, almost out of Mylars and fullbacks. I've placed an order with E. Gerber and they have told me that it is a 8 to 14 week delay before they actually ship out. So, um, it's going to be a while, I guess. So, uh, I was flabbergasted by the 14 weeks. Um, the lady that was on the phone told me it's likely going to be 14 weeks, but it's possible if the supply chain comes in that, you know, it could be eight weeks. But, uh, I've got about 50 mylars left to use and, so I'm not sure. I've got so many uh, loose comics here in the in the uh, office that I need to bag. I may just actually start bagging comics in the um, regular polyethylene bags and boards and uh, leave it at that. But um, anyway, let's get started. So a lot of these books I'm about to show are from various... Um, comic shops that I've visited, some have been sales, uh, just a variety of uh, books that I wanted to show. Some of these are from my pull list, but um, let's get started here with New Mutants No. 1, a great Josh Middleton uh, cover. You know, I paid um, <clears throat> $4.50 for this book, and, um, you know, all the cheap copies have gone uh are are gone on eBay and you know this book some of the early runs of Josh Middleton New Mutants um from what year is this 2013 um this here is the first appearance of Wind Rider and nice looking cover um near mint you know you know again it's trying to do something uh, it's, it wants to be somebody. It's like a, probably about a $15 book right now. Um, the next book that I got also at the same, um, store, uh, also from 2003, Josh Middleton cover art, the first appearance of Rock Slide and Wither. And this book also wants to do something. All the cheap copies are gone. Uh, that's probably a $20 book. And they had number two, which is also the first appearance of Anole, Hellion, Wall, Wallfire, Wallflower, and Mercury, which is also a very nice cover by Josh Middleton. Um, these last two books, two and three, were cover price. Uh, actually, they were three dollars and uh, a quarter, I think. Yeah, because it's two fifty cover price. And I paid three twenty five. Was happy to pay that for two thousand three near mint copies of um, some nice artwork. Again, they're trying to you know they're trying to do something there. Um, this was cover price at uh, three bucks, uh, so a penny over cover price. Miss Marvel uh, number thirty nine with the Mike Diado. Uh, cover, nice looking cover. Also a book that wants to be somebody. It's going for, you know, some days you can find it for cover price. Um, some days it can go as high as 20. Uh, that's a nice near mint copy. Um, I'm not sure why this is in the pile, but, uh, Batman, Last Man on Earth. I just had it bagged, so, um, showing that. Nothing significant. I, I think I've got that as a pull list. Got this for a dollar, second print, Batman Detective, number 1001, first appearance of Arkham Knight, second print for a dollar. Um, I like this cover by Lee and Hawk, um, Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel 31, with Miss Marvel on the cover. Um, this is uh, Robin, number one, this is the back cover, uh, it's a wraparound cover. And, um, this was, I'm not sure what the ratio was, uh, but it's a Glenn, um, 
Melinkoff cover. Um, that was the front, and that's the back. Uh, so I got two copies of that, and, you know, <clears throat> it does have the first appearance of Flatline in it. I'm not sure where this book is going. Some people are highly specking on that book. Um, I guess we'll wait to see how they do, you know, with those characters. Um, United States of Captain America, number two. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Eh, these were cover price. Ha ha, number six. Um, Spider-Man, number 17, I got for a dollar. Um, that's definitely worth a dollar in high grade. I really like this cover. I never heard of this, uh, artist before. Sebastian Fumari. Fumuri, Fumuri. Um, nice looking cover. Got that. <clears throat> Bought these two books here. This is Knight Rider number two and Knight Rider number one. Now, these were listed as, uh, I think he listed these as fine. Uh, went to an LCS and they had them in the back issue bin. I, they, these are new stock. They weren't there before. I've, you know, me and my son, we visit this, uh, LCS uh quite often and he's bought quite a few figures there. Um I got this uh these two were I want to say they were under 10 bucks each, maybe they're like 7 7 dollars and this was 6 dollars and we did get these on uh free comic book day so there was 10 percent off back issue so just under let's just say under seven bucks for each one of these which was a good price uh this is definitely a fine vf copy nice crisp colors uh really looking clean copy this book here was listed as just a fine to vg uh the staple is not firmly attached but it's not pulled away and there's a crease here. But um, that was only uh, $4. And so I wasn't going to leave that there for 4 bucks, Plus 10% off on free comic book day. So I thought that was a nice pickup. <clears throat> I showed this in one of my videos before. Wolverine number 90. Which I think is a fantastic cover. And the only reason why I'm showing this now and again. Is because before I bagged it. Um, I wanted to show you the back cover. This is, uh, I got this in a dollar bin, I believe, or less. Andy uh, Cupboard, Kubert uh, artwork. And that's the front, and then the back is an awesome cover, again, with Sabretooth. Um, some of these early Wolverine Volume 1, um, comics are starting to uh heat up you know you have the deadpool ones um you know obviously mr fix it number eight number one is going for some money now um i mean surprisingly as much as highly printed as that book is but um this is also a cover this storyline where wolverine fights saber uh is a fantastic story and um <clears throat> And before I bagged that, I wanted to, uh, or seal that bag, Mylar, I wanted to show the full wraparound cover. Um, let's see. Oh, here's, here's some. So these are cover buys only. I don't usually buy Black Panther ongoing monthly series, but I really like these uh, art, fine art appreciation variants. Uh, this was Black Panther by Gleason, number 25. Um, you know, he's got that. I guess a little iconic cover now with the Spider-Man 55 with the webbing. Um, also another uh, RB Silva cover, Fine Art, number 25, which I really like that. So I bought two of those just for the cover. And then I also, also like this Mosaic uh, Joshua Kassara cover, also Black Panther 25. So, you know, <clears throat> I mean, hey... Uh, they were cover price and um, was happy to buy them, you know. All right, let's see. Uh, we'll leave that up there.
found this for a dollar. You know, this had a little bit of heat recently because uh, of some speculation. Um, but Thor, I think this is, which printing is this? Second print, Thor number six. It's got a wraparound cover. Uh, but I got that for a dollar. Found this for a dollar. X-Men, new X-Men number 46, Messiah Complex number chapter 12, because I didn't have that in the Messiah Complex uh, limited series within the series, or crossover, I guess, event. Um, I really like this total awesome Hulk uh, homage to um, Steranko, Steranko cover. I've gotten multiple copies of that, but anytime I see it, I figure, you know, why not for a dollar? This was also a dollar. Um, I think this was a Steel Freeze cover. Total Awesome Hulk number 18. Um, got this for a dollar. Gwen Stacy number one, Adam Hughes cover. That was at high grade. I've gotten multiple copies of that. Before a dollar was going to leave it there. Uh, this was Atlas of. Agents of Atlas number one, not the one that were that's got some heat, but that was a dollar. Um, Daredevil number three for a dollar. These early Chip uh, Zdarsky storyline is going uh, pretty well. Um, Adam Hughes ride number one cover art for a dollar. Tomb Raider number eighteen for a dollar. Um, Adam Hughes, all the Adam Hughes Tomb Raiders. Uh, on a good day, you can go for a little bit of money. Now, this comic here, <clears throat> interestingly enough, I got for a dollar, but I did not see it in, uh, you know, in CBSI, they have cover art uh, books, uh, <clears throat> a checklist of cover art <clears throat> uh, by some of our favorite artists, and Adam Hughes is, you know, my favorite artist, and this book is not listed on there, but it's a trade paperback, uh, <clears throat> a little smaller than a normal comic, Got that for a dollar. I recognize the art, uh, but that's not on the checklist. Serenity's Doze Left Behind. Uh, I've got this for a dollar. Ferris, number one. I've got multiple copies of that. Beautiful cover by Adam Hughes. Uh, if I see that in high grade near mint for a dollar, I'm going to pick that up. That's a nice cover. Uh, <clears throat> comic I did not have. Adam Hughes cover. Comico number 17 Elementals. At early Adam Hughes artwork. Found another copy of Legion 35, Adam Hughes. I did pay $2.50 for that comic. Um, <clears throat> now, this is a book I was happy to find for $3. Red Sonia number 12, the Jenny Frizen cover. They had, they had only two copies of Jenny Frizen cover art, uh, Red Sonia, from the um, early run by Dynamite. Um, one, eh, it was only okay. It didn't get, doesn't go for very much. This one really, um, is a nice looking cover and that goes for, uh, can go for about 20 bucks easy. Then I found these three copies here also at a dollar sell. This, or a dollar, it wasn't even a dollar sell, just a normal dollar bin, uh, new stock for a dollar. This is a second print, <clears throat> Teenage Ninja Mutant Turtles, number 95. First appearance of Janica. 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 Yeah, Janica. So, I missed out on the first print. Got a couple issues of the second print. And then for a dollar a piece, so I definitely was worth picking up. <clears throat> they definitely go for more than a dollar. Um... <clears throat> These were cover price, Wonder Woman, Future State number one, the first appearance of Yara Floor. I was surprised to see those still on the shelf for a dollar. I'm not a dollar. Cover price. Uh, Thor number nine, variant cover by Jenny Frizen, the Phoenix variant uh, for cover price. Hmm. Oh, here's another dollar. Tomb Raider, number three. Journeys by Adam Hughes. Um, I'd shown a copy of that recently, and um, that wasn't in... It had a lot of... Uh, it was a little dirty. 
Uh, this isn't. This still isn't in near mint because there's a couple of spine ticks here to break color, but definitely an upgrade from the one that I have and was happy to find. You know, buy that for a dollar. Some recent books cover price: Peach Momoko, Avengers Forty Four. Great looking cover. Uh, she's got a little bit of saturation with too many uh, covers, in my opinion. She's um, kind of overkill now. Um, found this for cover price. No, not this. I got this for a dollar. This was a uh, Star Wars Adventures number seven, the first appearance of Hondo. Um, now the variant cover, the one in ten, goes for you know fifty, sixty bucks. But this one, you know, still can go for twenty bucks. So was happy to find that for a dollar. Got this only because it was a. Um, Variant cover of uh, Mighty Thor number 11 for a dollar. Um, what else do I want to show? Yeah, let me show that. Um, <clears throat> what else do I want to show? Uh, this was a nice pickup for Dollar Moon Girl, number two. Batman, number 90. Both for Dollar. These were Dollar Avengers, 53. First, Brother Voodoo, Sorcerer Supreme. Um, couldn't believe I found this for uh, 50 cent. This is... Crisis number eight, the death of Barry Allen before they brought him back. Um, and then I wanted to show the Jenny Frizen, you know, sometimes she is firing on all cylinders, and um, I really enjoy some of her covers. And her most recent or her current run on Catwoman, she is, you know, doing some incredible covers that I thought I would uh, showcase here um, that I've been buying several, multiple copies of. First you have Catwoman number 29 which is a nice looking cover. I really thought this cover was gorgeous by Jenny Frizen. Um, number 30 beautiful cover. You know Josh Middleton obviously did the run before this and um, had some great covers. Art Germ obviously had some great covers. Um, speaking of Art Germ, I'll show another co comic I bought. Um, Catwoman 30, again, I bought several copies of that. I, I think I got more than that, too, somewhere. Uh, but, you know, it was... I pre-ordered these, so it was 35% off. So, uh, what is that? Uh... Three bucks, a little bit over three dollars and some cent for that. And Catwoman number 31, also a nice looking cover by Jenny Frizen. Speaking of Catwoman variants, <clears throat> I bought me another copy of a 9.8 Catwoman number 15, the art germ, Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman. Um, it's the only thing I can say, you know, Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman. <laughs> Uh, gorgeous cover. Um, I've been trying to get a 9.8 of number four. Um, those are going for a hundred bucks if you're lucky. Um, this one I paid, uh, I want to say I paid 50, $50, 50, maybe $50 including shipping. Actually $50 including shipping. Um, the one that I bought before was thirty nine ninety five or thirty nine ninety nine plus shipping, and I bought this from the same seller uh, for forty nine ninety nine plus ten dollars in shipping. No, yeah, forty nine ninety nine plus shipping, so it's ten dollars shipping, so six sixty bucks, sixty bucks for this book. Uh, the first one I bought was fifty dollars, and um, <clears throat> was really happy to uh, pick up another copy. Still on a hunt to get a number four uh, art germ cover. Um, and then, let's see. Max, are you going to show your figure? Yes. So, a new comic 
or not new comic, on free comic book day, uh, Max was saving up to buy a figure that I do not have myself. And um, it's a pricey figure. It is. And uh, he had been watching it on YouTube and unboxing videos and... Uh, and that is what is this, Max? Thanos. What kind of Thanos? The Infinity, the Endgame one is a hot toy. Yeah, it's a hot toy. Oh my goodness, it's so big it doesn't even fit in the screen. <laughs> Let's lower this. Yeah, there we go. So this hot toy <clears throat> is extremely detailed. It's probably. Uh, at least a foot tall, if not higher. Where, where's the uh, box, Max? The box is right here. I think the screen won't be big enough. Yeah, it won't be big enough. Let me see the box. Let's see how tall it says it's on here. It's bigger. So, ooh. I don't think it says how tall it is, but this hot toy on Free Comic Book Day was what? on sale, and... Um, and so we had been eyeing it at the store for a while. And when we saw that they were going to offer a percentage off on the sale, we were like, oh, man, we got to get that. And so we went to Free Comic Book Day solely for the purpose of getting a discount on this figure. And I do believe the... Yeah, I think I come off. Let me show you. Here, you hold it. Take it off. Okay, put the... So, one of the cool features of this figure... That glows. The Infinity Gauntlet, if you can tell... Let me cut the light off a second. Oh, that's awesome. And you can take the helmet off. And then the helmet comes off. And the detail on Thanos is incredible. He's got the sword from the Infinity War endgame. A um, little damage on the helmet, as you can see. Very heavy figure, actually. It is really heavy. And um, it comes with this stand so he doesn't fall over. And this figure is three seventy five. dollars um, and then we got a little discount on it. So let's get up a little close to this with the camera. The detail on this is muscles, the sword. Um, it comes with um, multiple hands that you can switch out. And also it comes with the batteries but here's the box so you know the the figure itself comes with interchangeable hands and um and the fingers got with that can move the hands and the fingers yeah different fingers as you can see here That you can change out but because it's such an expensive figure we didn't want to keep changing the hands out and risk breaking it uh because it's not really a it's not toy. Really toy it's just like a statue yeah it's more of a statue i personally do not have any hot toys because you think it's too expensive yeah they're pretty expensive but um you know again with the discount, you know, the sale was uh, was 25% off. Probably the cheapest I would ever find this particular figure ever. And so we made a conscious decision to say, hey, let's get this figure now. And um, put it in his collection. And so it's been on display actually in the dining room because it's so big it's so big 
Uh, we didn't want it to fall over in his room when he's horse playing. So, uh... My mom needed to kill you, Tom Hill. Uh-huh, yeah. My wife, his mom, uh, had to bring it down the steps to the office so it doesn't break. So, with that, uh, we did this video so that Max could show off his hot toy. And um, we'll probably post another video later. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Peace.